Okay, here is a quick video of how to save something to your G drive. Now, I've already made a video on how to connect and set up your Google Drive, but here's what you're gonna do afterwards. So, for instance, if you're using SolidWorks or any program for that matter, if you use an Excel, PowerPoint, Word, you're gonna hit your File button, then Save As. What that's going to do is give you a list of your drives. Do not, do not, do not put it to your C drive. Don't put it to your documents, anything like that. You want to go to your G drive, which means you're going to go to My Drive Next, and that's going to match exactly what you have in your Google Drive. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to look for a folder that's 2021 Resources because that's where I'm keeping everything this year. Um, if I go over here and I've got my Google Drive already set up, you can see I've got a folder 2021 resources. Now these will be in different orders depending on what you pick here and that kind of stuff. So if I go to my resources and I go back to here, I'm going to go 2021 resources. You can see, hey, there's a 3D printing file. So I'm just going to put test part save it as that I'm gonna hit save there and if you notice up here that says your file name before it had a little asterisk next to it always always be careful if it's got the asterisk that means you haven't saved it now we're gonna see how fast this shows up and there it is on your Google Drive now if you have the G Drive saved which you should you want to go down here to the bottom to what's called File Explorer. Click on the little folder emblem. It's gonna come up and you can see Google Drive file stream here on the left. You can see the last things that you've opened up here. So for instance, we've got test part right there. We're gonna to go to our G Drive just to show you that. My Drive and then 2021 resources, 3D printing files, and there you go. And here we're gonna change it so that's the latest one open so it actually syncs in three different places you, but it's inherently the same place because it's in the cloud so you've got your G Drive you've got your Google Drive oh, wrong tab that, that's here and then you can also see it when you file save as straight from the part so hopefully that helps please 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 do that where you're saving parts on Google Drive because if we have any trouble with the laptops and they, you save it to the documents folder, there is no guarantee that that part or anything that you're working on will be saved. And it's a lot more efficient than saving on the desktop and then dragging it into Google. That's like a pain in the butt. I don't want you guys to have to do that. Thanks for listening.